Hey guys, good morning. It is a little after eight o'clock and I thought I'd do a day in the life today. I don't have a whole lot going on, but um, I am going to be taking my son to his dentist appointment. He's got to like get his braces cleaned and tightened. Um, and so we're heading there right now. And yeah, so I thought I'd film today just a day in the life with a stay at home mom. And um, I was able to get up about six o'clock this morning and I had some devotional time. Um, I haven't eaten breakfast yet, but I've got the kiddos in the back too. I've got my newborn right there in the middle. Um, well, she's almost three months now. So, and then my toddler behind me right here. So we're heading out and so I hope you enjoy this video and come along with me today as I just go about my day. dentist's office right now and um, I'm waiting for my son to um, finish up and I'm just gonna be nursing my baby right here I just took her took her out of her car seat say hi Kaylee she's a bit hungry at the moment but um yeah I've got my nursing cover on right here and I'm gonna be nursing her and hopefully my son doesn't get too long so he just got braces a few months ago and um, he's supposed to come once a month for cleaning and like tightening of the braces um, his last appointment, he didn't take too long. Um, actually, it was like super fast. And um, it took him about, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Been in there almost a half hour now. So um, hopefully he'll be done pretty soon. I'm just nursing my daughter here. And I think we're going to go get um, some breakfast after this. I didn't get a chance to eat breakfast or have my coffee. We're going to stop at like Chick-fil-A on the way home. Um, and then I've got to get back home to... Um, get the car to my husband. We are currently down to one car, unfortunately. So um, he's got to use the car to head to work. And um, yeah, so I have a few errands to run, but I won't be able to do that um, this morning, I don't think. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's what's going on right now. And I, I brought my journal with me here and I haven't really been able to journal a whole lot lately. So before I took my daughter out uh, to feed her, I was able to journal um, very quickly, just for a few minutes, but I was journaling every day uh, before I had my daughter and it's been a little more difficult. I just had a birthday about a week ago and um, I was journaling about, basically, I guess I'll share this with you. Um, I, My husband and I, we had uh, went to Costco to pick up my um, cake, which was a cheesecake. And we just add like um, cherry preserves on top and make it like a cherry cheesecake. It was really good actually. Anyway, uh, as we were getting out, we hear this like sound of a bird and um, like a, a distinct bird sound. It's not really common, it was like a distinct sound. And uh, we looked up in the trees and actually my husband, as I was getting out and stuff, he went and looked and um, he used his phone, like his camera to zoom in. And he was able to see there were two um, uh, bald eagles in the tree and so I got out and I actually recorded a little bit of it. Maybe I'll um, put that clip in here so you guys can see. But there were two bald eagles and I thought it was really cool because I've always wanted to see bald eagles in the wild. So I thought that was like a kind of like a little gift for me from my father in heaven. So um, yeah, that was really cool. I've, I've always wanted to see bald eagles in the wild and never had a chance to um, even, you know, during hiking and walking on trails and things like that. I've never been fortunate to see that and think it was like a couple um, of bald eagles. So try to include that clip here for you guys to take a look at that. So I was journaling about that and uh, I'll check back in in a bit. So we've got baby girl here. She just finished eating and my son just 
he just came back. I had to wait for his like next appointment. But anyway, we've got baby girl here and she lost a sock. <laughs> I need to put it back on her, it's right there. Um, yeah, and she's still got her pajamas on. So when we get home, we'll change her out of her pajamas. And um, I actually got her some jammies yesterday from Target. I was there to, um, I was putting together like a gift basket for a friend of ours. And I found these super cute pajamas uh, for her. They're super soft, so I'll share those with you guys later. But, um, so we're gonna head off and I think we're gonna go to Chick-fil-A, so. Say hi. Can you say hi? get home because my baby is gray um i think she wanted to finish eating she nursed for about 20 minutes but she's probably not done yet and she's probably getting tired again needs another diaper change and all of that but anyway i wanted to say um that was actually really fast um they weren't busy thankfully um sometimes their breakfast line is like really long but um i wanted to say the cold brew the mocha cold brew if you haven't tried it you're missing out you need to try this um it's really good actually and um it's it's not even that expensive but um it's just a few bucks but it's so delicious i wish they had it like in a bigger size um but yeah it just looks like that and i am like so addicted to this um coffee and my son and i actually both he really likes it too but um yeah it's the mocha cold brew because they do have like the vanilla um and i think another one but this one is really good your eyes you like? Mm. 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 We're gonna put this outfit on her and hopefully it still fits her. She hasn't worn it in a while, so we'll see if it still fits her. Where's your other hand? There it is. There it is. And got her socks. It's a little chilly today, so we'll keep the socks on. And yeah, are you cold? Are you a bit cold? Are you sucking on your fingers? Your fingers taste good. Here we go. Here we go. Hi. I love you. So let's change you. fits her good. She's outgrown both all of her newborn clothes actually so this one fits her good still. Say hi. Say hello. And this one we got um, from Shein or Shine um, we ordered and um, I have like a 
get ready with me for baby video coming soon. Hopefully I haven't been able to edit that, but that was from before um, when I was pregnant with her and I, um, I shared like a Shein haul with you guys. I haven't been able to edit that video yet, so hopefully that'll be coming soon. Let's go eat, okay? Take a nap, sweetheart. So we are just sitting here on the couch and <laughs> say hi. Caden's going through my backpack over here. I left it on the couch. Um, this is my morning like prayer routine backpack that I have here. If you haven't seen my video, I will put it up here for you so you can um, go and take a look at that. I kind of go over what I keep in my like prayer time backpack. I was um, out here this morning having quiet time. Um, I got up a little bit earlier today so um, to take my son to his dentist appointment. And um, I lately haven't been able to get up super early um, just because my baby wakes up at night still for feedings and um, stuff like that. So anyhow, uh, my son's going through my backpack and I am nursing my little one here and um, finishing up my like Chick-fil-A cold brew. I think I'm gonna put some like heavy cream or some milk in this. It tastes like very like mocha-ish right now. So anyhow, if I put a little bit more milk in here, it'll probably, um, Kaden, no sir. No, no, no. It'll probably give no. it that um, cold brew no. flavor. No. My son is trying to convince me to let him have some. You want some coffee? <laughs> it's coffee, honey. It's coffee. No. <laughs> no, it's coffee. You can't have coffee. No. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna put a little one down and hopefully she'll take a nap while I get some things done here. Um, my kids are homeschooling right now. They are finishing up their schoolwork. My daughter has um, like a Bible study to go to. In a couple hours, she's gonna be going to her Bible study. My husband, he's gonna drop her off. He went to work and he'll, he'll be coming back to pick her up and then on his way out to um, work again, he will drop her off. And yeah, so right now and maybe i can if i get a chance i'll show you her bible study um that she's doing with um a couple of other teenage girls um one of our friends is leading the bible study hey buddy what you doing buddy can you bring me cc's wrap in the swing good job thank you oh thank you good job thank you <laughs> He knew exactly what I was talking about. I just asked my son to bring me his sister's wrap um, in the swing, and I wasn't sure if he would understand what that was, but he did, and he brought it. Good job. You are so smart, buddy. So I'm going to wrap her up in this. Usually she sleeps pretty good when she's in her wrap. She sleeps a lot better. Um, she still like has that startle reflex. So I'm going to wrap her in this and then probably put her down in the swing, and hopefully she'll take a good nap. Uh, she's only had about one nap this morning so far. Uh, we got up about six o'clock and um, she hasn't really napped since then. No, let me see. She napped about, she went down for her first nap. We were up at about six and she went down for her first nap about 6.30ish. And then I woke her up um, about eight o'clock. So um, yeah, so since then she hasn't really napped. baby is sleeping in her swing right now and she'll probably nap about 45 minutes she usually naps about 45 minutes or if she does like a double nap it's like an hour and a half she loves her swing she likes to sleep in here um i do have her in her swaddle but she's comfortable in there um she likes to be snug in there so Take your jacket off. Oops. 
There we go. You did it. Good job, buddy. Come here. Show them what we have over here, okay? You want to show them? Got a hot mess over here. But let's see. Okay. So I'm going to put... So I'm gonna clean up and put a little bit of stuff away here. Drawers are getting a little messy. Sometimes when we're like in a hurry, like for church Sunday mornings or just whatever, like um, other people go through the drawers to help me get uh, the baby's dress. They kind of just um, make a mess of the drawer. Sometimes I have this organized and then um, it can get a little messy. So sometimes I have to like straighten this out. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do that right now. And then I'm gonna show you also a couple things that I have over here that I need to um, take out of the packaging and I also need to take out some of my daughter's like newborn clothes out of here um, outfits that don't fit her anymore and put things away um, yeah so I need to also open I think I have a couple packages back there um, and kind of clean up this room a little bit while I have the chance I'm gonna take a few minutes to clean up in here what you doing huh um, if you saw like my clean like I think it was a Sunday reset video I posted a couple months ago. Um, this was an actual like tree, it was a palm tree. I went to about, I don't know, maybe about here. Um, and I had mentioned that my son, he gets into this plant and likes to dig. So this is what's left of this tree and I'm trying to nurse it back to health. Hopefully it um, continues to grow. But yeah, so this is all that's left. He kind of uh, bent the tree and it kind of just broke and kind of died and stuff. So hopefully that comes back to health. But and then this stuff right here is a project that I'm working on. Um, I picked this up at a thrift store actually. And um, I'm going to show you what else I got from the thrift store is over there. But this was like $22. It's like $40 on Amazon. I had one for my son, but then I like donated it or I sold it at a consignment shop. And um, I really wanted another one for my baby. It's just like you know, pretty simple and it's uh, also easy to fold up and put away. So and it doesn't take up too much space, but yeah, so I found this at the consignment shop. I thought about making one myself, but um, I thought with the time and, and the money it would cost, so I just thought it'd be easier. And I was looking and searching and I finally found one and it was, I think like $20. So I was happy about finding that. But um, anyhow, this right here is for a project. Um, I'm hoping to get to it today because it's been a couple of weeks actually that I purchased this stuff from the dollar store to work on. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to share that with you also. What you doing over here? Can I have that please? Uh-oh, somebody got into mommy's stuff. Thank you. Can I have those, buddy? Can I have that stuff? Thank you. Oh, thank you. What a help. This is the pajama set I found last night for my daughter. I was at Target. Um, my daughter and I were putting together like a, a little gift basket for a friend of ours. Um, and I found this set, it was so cute um, when I felt it. It's just so soft and I don't know if you can tell, but it's like, I mean, luxurious, like buttery soft. It's so adorable. Um, and they had a matching like onesie set. They were long sleeve onesies. I almost got those two with uh, matching pants. Um, you get to buy them separately, which it would have cost me um, more money if I bought the sets uh, to go together. So instead I just bought the pajamas because she does need more pajamas. And I figured as it starts to get warm, this is really thin material and we sleep with the AC on. So it'll probably keep her nice and snug at nighttime. Um, but yeah, it's so soft and so adorable. I really, really, really like this um, a lot. So, and it's got the little like um, finger warm or, you know, to keep her from scratching herself. So I got that and these were, I think $11 for the set not too bad actually for especially for the material being so soft and I hope after I wash it hopefully it stays this soft as well um, and doesn't like peel or anything just the other day I was at Ross and I picked up this little cute outfit this was $6.99 um, the brand is Catherine Malandrino baby I've never heard of that brand but it's so cute um, the colors are really adorable too I thought this would be cute for spring and I think it actually came with a little um, bow. Yeah, here it is. It did come with a little bow, so matching um, headband here in the romper. So adorable. This is size three to six months. 
And then I also picked up for my son these little um, sandals. He's been needing sandals. I thought these were super cute. They coordinate with his outfits. Um, but the only thing is that um, these sandals, you don't really want to get wet. And so I may need to buy him some other sandals for summer that he can actually get wet. Um, but these were super cute. These are size six and they're $13.99. Um, they were the Oshkosh, the Gosh brand. It does have this like permanent marker down here, but I think that'll probably come off with time as he wears them. Or if not, I can always um, probably try to take that off somehow, but it's not really too big of a deal. So yeah, those are cute. I also picked up at Ross for my daughter this three pack of rompers. Um, so as it starts to get warm here, uh, these will be perfect for her. They're super cute um, colors. And yeah, uh, these were $10.99 for a three pack. And this is the RZ Baby by Rachel Zoe. Um, it retailed for, it shows here for $32 and I got them for $10.99, so. Also from Target, I picked this up the other day actually. I stopped in um, to grab something. I think it was on our way home from church and uh, I went in and my son has been needing more summer outfits. It was starting to get warm here in Florida. Now it's, um, we're like cold again. Um, it's been windy and rainy, but I'm sure it's gonna warm up really soon here. And, um, but yeah, so I picked these up and they, I thought they were having a sale with the cat and Jack, but it was the infant sizes, I guess, um, or something like that. But the lady was really nice and she um, actually still gave me the discount on these um, cat and Jack clothes, which was really nice. So I saved quite a bit of money. The little cut off shorts, got the little um, rips here. Those are cute. And then also I got a couple tees for him. This is in 2T as well. These were, this was $5. Of course I got the discount. So it was probably about three or $4 maybe. Also these shorts um, in 3T and um, these have pockets and it's so cute. He likes to stick his hands in his pockets. So um, those are adorable. And I got some more tees for summer. This is a uh, 3T. I think I tried to get 3T for his shirts. Um, he's growing into that. So got that one and then some more shorts. Again, like the um, blue pair there with the pockets. And this T um, is 2T. I think maybe this was the last one that they had left of this one color. And then um, these are 3T. And I also have from the thrift store, I went uh, the other day, I picked up this shirt for my son. Um, he is 11, so, or he'll be 11 soon. But um, this is a large 1012, and I think, I believe this was 450. Yeah, so this will be cute for um, just when we need to dress up a bit for church or um, going somewhere. And then I picked up another swaddle for my daughter. This was $6. Um, this is just so she has another swaddle. This size is small, medium. So their shirt I picked up for my son. Um, he's into yeah, sharks yeah, right now. He loves yeah, to read. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's your shirt. Those are sharks. He likes to sing the baby shark song. Baby shark, do, 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 do. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I got this for him. This was 350 and this is size 40, um, but I think it'll fit him great for the summer. <laughs> yeah. That's your shirt, buddy. Uh-huh. Do you like it? He actually picked this one out when we were in the store. Um, he really liked that one. So, and I think that's about it. I, I do have, um, oh, I wanted to share with you, um, this box came in from my baby registry, um, from Amazon. And I think the Amazon registry is super easy. Um, you just have to like register on Amazon, complete your registry, and then I think you have to maybe uh, make a purchase of at least $10 or something like that, but it comes to you free. And I actually don't know quite yet what's in here. I did get one for my son. Um, so I got a few nice things. So I'm sort of interested to see what's in this one. Um, I guess this is for the Brisa, the baby Brisa. Um, it looks like it came in this bag and it looks like I got another swaddle. Wow. Okay. So, um, this is a swaddle me it's a, for stage one. That's super cute for zero to three months. We got that in here and then let's see, we got a onesie. I have the same onesie for my son um, that I registered him on Amazon as well. Um, let's see, I got a couple of breast milk bags, some OxyClean. 
stain remover, um, some lactation cookies from Bessie's Best. Let's see, what else? Um, looks like a baby bottle, an Avent baby bottle in here. Some more samples. It looks like I got some witch hazel here. Um, some Cetaphil wash and shampoo. And another wash and shampoo. You need that, sweetie? Yeah. And this looks like face and body whip lotion. And then some coupons. A couple samples here. Diaper rash cream. And a couple coupons here. So, got a few good things in this baby registry bag. Oh, Tonight we could do this right We'll find the remedy Oh, would you stay with me now till the So my daughter just showed me this. Um, she's getting really, really good at art. She um, just painted this, actually. She worked on it last night while she was in bed. She sketched this, and she, was, she just finished this up. Um, she's going to give this in her gift basket to her Bible study teacher, uh, a friend of ours. Um, does Bible study with a few girls and my daughter's part of the Bible study group but she's gonna give her a gift basket um, and she's gonna put this in there but she actually drew this she sketched it last night um, while she was in bed and then she um, just finished it and she showed it to me it's so cute um, she did a really good job she's getting a lot better with every picture that she draws and paints I thought this was so pretty I love all the shading that she did all the detail and the flowers and um, yeah this is really cute Okay, since I'm sharing what I picked up at Target yesterday, I also got this kid's garden set. Uh, it was $5, it was in the dollar, like the bullseye section. And I got this for my son. Um, let me see if I can open it. I do have like a little garden outside, nothing much, just a few um, like vegetable plants and I actually need to replant for this um, upcoming spring. But yeah, so um, I got this for my son. He likes to go out there with me and water the plants. So it comes with this little magnifying glass, a little tiny um, watering bucket for him, and then a little pot here um, to plant something and actually does have holes at the bottom. And then these little like markers, has a few of these, and then some like gardening tools in there um, for him which he loves to go outside and dig in the dirt and things like that. So, little shovel, rake, you know. This was super cute. Um, I think he'll really enjoy this, this season as he goes out there with me in garden.
I've got to put them away. She's grown out of all of her pajamas um, that were newborn, and I love this little like little sister outfit on her. So cute. It's my favorite. Um, this little like lamb outfit. I love this little outfit on her. I love lamb, so um, I'm so sad she's grown out of them. Although I am happy that she's growing, so that's good. But um, yeah, it's time to put these away. I was gonna put this on her for Easter. A friend of mine got it for us. Uh, it was actually cold here for Easter. It was like rainy and windy, so she wasn't able to wear that, um, but she probably will be able to wear this really soon here. show you really quickly I was able to um, finish putting away all the clothes um, my daughter just woke up from her nap so I'll have to take her out but anyway I wanted to show you my daughter's um, Bible study book it's for teens and we just got this cute little like bag from Lifeway um, when we ordered it it came with it um, it was like a coupon promotion and um, so this is the Bible study she's doing it's seamless uh, by Angie Smith um, I actually did this Bible study a few years ago. It was really good. Um, like if you want to go over the entire story of the Bible, it like goes through it all in one, like as it's like one whole story, um, you know, and, and it kind of just gives you the gist of the entire Bible and the story. It's a really great Bible study. And then um, the gift basket we got here is just some cute little gifts. Um, our friend loves like baking and gardening. She also loves coffee. So my daughter picked some of these out. Um, we got this at Ross. It's just a little mini bakeware set and it's so cute. We thought um, it's kind of a novelty item, but it also, you know, she could actually use it if she wanted to. And we thought that was super cute. This was like, I think it was like $4.99 and a great price for that. And then um, a coffee mug that we picked up at Target. Uh, yesterday they actually had a lot of mugs out for Mother's Day um, coming up so um, that was in that section and then my daughter we bought this frame and she just um, sketched this and painted it she just finished it um, I think it's watercolor but um, she put lots of detail in here and shading and she's getting so good at um, creating art and she just loves it so um, she did that for her as well. And then we got this basket also, also in the bullseye section at Target. What do you say, buddy? What do you say? <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's thank you. Oh, that was thank you. Say thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, buddy. Okay, so I just remembered that I haven't put dinner um, to start yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I left this out overnight to defrost. It was frozen. So I'm gonna open this. I'm making like a um, crock pot chicken Alfredo. So I'll share the recipe with you. It's really good. My children, my family loves um, this meal. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that together right now really quickly.
we've got some raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries, buddy. Is that good? Yeah? Okay. Yummy! I've been sitting here with my daughter nursing her, but um, I am currently working on something right now and I'm almost done with it. It has taken me a little while to finish this, but hopefully I'll be able to finish it really soon and I'll be sharing this with you guys. Um, it's like a, just basically like a prayer journal. Um, what you got on your face there, buddy? Do you have smoothie on your face? Yeah. We need to clean your face, don't we? And it's almost time for sleepy time. No? <laughs> Is sleepy time your favorite time of the day? No? Okay. No? Not yet, but pretty soon, buddy. Okay? I'm making like a prayer journal, basically. Um, so, yeah, I've... I'm almost done with it actually. I have about 200 and something pages completed, if you can see that there. And um, it's coming to a completion basically. Hopefully I'll be able to um, have this up soon. I'll be sharing it with you guys once I have it done. If you guys are interested, I will be um, probably be putting this on Etsy, um, in my Etsy shop. I don't have a whole lot in there, but um, I'm really excited to finish this. It's been months actually probably a couple of years in the making and um, just because I've had kids and just been really busy in between and so I've just really been trying to dedicate time to get this done and it's Molly are you feeling okay for a walk? Oh sweetie Come on now. you feeling okay? I think we're gonna go for a walk in a little bit before Jesus. little one goes down for a nap huh but yeah you want to go for a walk? We need to find yeah. her a song that soothes the earth. Because you know, normally spoiled so, animals have a song that soothes them. Yeah. So Molly, our doggy, she's finally starting to feel better. She actually wants to go for a walk, but she's been um, really she's sick for the past out. couple days. Um, she was whimpering. We weren't sure what happened to her. We thought maybe um, our toddler might have hurt her or maybe um, she like slipped or on the floors and hurt herself. We weren't sure if it was her her legs or her back, but um, after bad. like keeping an eye on her, we think it might be her stomach that was hurting her and she was in a lot of pain. Um, and the, the only thing different about her diet was that we started giving her these like treats that we got at Costco. You wanna show them the treats? You wanna go get them please? So I can, I'm gonna share the treats with them like so they can see. Um, we got these treats at Costco and she doesn't usually, I don't really give her any treats. Um, she only has like, um, just basically like, she'll have like some string cheese that her trainer had recommended to do like string cheese and, um, you know, in moderation and stuff like that. But that's pretty much all she has as a treat. And so I haven't given her treats in a very long time. I found these treats at Costco. They are um, freeze dried beef liver. And I liked them because there was just one single ingredient, which is just beef liver. So I thought these would be really good for her. If you can see there, it says 100% pure beef liver. These are a product of Canada. And I don't know, after a couple days of eating them, we were giving her just a few a day. And um, the recommended for her size was like six to eight. And we were only giving her about two to, maybe two to four a day. And then she just suddenly started getting really sick and her stomach was really bloated um, and hard. And she's had like a sensitive stomach since she was a little puppy. And so she's like on a special uh, doggy diet. Uh, she uses like this brand of uh, dog food. We find it Petco, it's called Merrick. And it really um, works well with her stomach. But um, 
So we stopped feeding her those, which I am going to be returning at Costco. What's wrong, buddy? Uh oh, are you stuck? I will be returning those. And um, she didn't want to eat or anything like that for about a day. And she just started eating. Uh, last night she ate some food. I went and got her some like Merrick uh, wet food. And I mixed it with some pumpkin puree, just pure pumpkin puree. And then I mixed it with some bentonite clay. And I've mentioned this before on my channel several times. I used it. Um, I use it and I used it during my pregnancies uh, for like nausea. I really, really love the bentonite clay. Um, but yeah, so I mixed that with her dog food. And it's supposed to like just take out any toxins or parasites, anything like that. It's all natural. I've used it before with her. And I put it in her dog food just because. Um, sorry for all the distractions. But yeah, I put it in her dog food. Uh, just because I mix it in wet food um, with pumpkin puree, pure pumpkin puree, and uh, a little bit of wet food. She doesn't normally eat wet food, but I put it in with some dry food as well. And I mix about two tablespoons of the bentonite clay, and it's supposed to remove any toxins and parasites, things like that. It's sort of like a gentle cleanser, but it works really well. Um, I was sick not too long ago, about a week ago, and my stomach, I had some really sharp pains in my stomach. Um, I think I had like a flu and I had a lot of different stuff going on. I had like a fever, cough, flu, things like that. I woke up in the middle of the night really super sick. And um, I, first thing I did was I, after about an hour of suffering with stomach pains, I drank some of the bentonite clay with water and it like almost immediately soothed my stomach. And um, from that point on, my stomach just started slowly getting better. And um, within, I would say about within six hours, uh, I was, my stomach pain's pretty much stopped. And um, so anyways, I mixed that with her dog food and she seems to be doing a lot better now and she's actually eating. So yeah, um, I will be returning those treats from Costco. I don't know if it was like a bad batch or just she has a super sensitive stomach. She's had a sensitive stomach since she was a little puppy, which is why she's on a special diet. Um, and we have found that that Merrick dog food is good for her and it sits well with her stomach. But. So we are really happy that she's doing much better now. Oh, huh, Molly. Yeah. Where's your duck, Molly? Where's your duck that I got you the other day? When, it's a mallard duck. It's a mallard, yeah. Yeah. Where's your duck, Molly? I got. There's your mallard duck. Ben. So I saw this at Petco when I was there. I thought it was cute for her. She was super excited when I came home with it. She um, loves it. Huh, Molly? She made her happy when when I brought it to her. Yeah, is that your duck, Molly? <laughs> Uh-oh, she dropped it? Did she drop it? Yeah, you want to give it back to Molly? Yeah? Oh, there's your duck. Nose to grab by the neck. Mm -hmm. Hey, girlfriend. Look, he's trying to.
Uh-oh. We're going to finish eating, and then we're going to go for a walk. Kaden is over there playing with his book. Is that your old McDonald's book? It looks like it needs more batteries, buddy. Do we need more batteries? Yeah. We need to put new batteries in there. Let's show them your new outfit, buddy. You got your new outfit on. You like it? Yeah. Those are some of your new clothes from Target. Comfortable? Yeah. We need to put your shoes on, your sandals. Do you know how to put your sandals on? You want to put your sandals on? Get your sandal. Put that one on. Can you put it on, on your foot? Can you put it on? You put it on your left foot. Can you do it? Yeah, that outfit. Oh, you got new shoes there? Mm -hmm. oh, Get your them. shoes on. Now those I got from last. Can you do it? Come bah, buddy. Bah, bah, you can do it. Bah, bah, <laughs> yeah. Bah. Here, buddy. Put your left foot in. Left foot in. Can it down? Say thank you. Yeah, can it down? Alright. Close your eyes. Uh oh, you okay? Are you ready to go? Can I have yeah. Like have a hug? Okay. As soon as sister's Daddy, done eating. As soon as sister's done eating, we'll go. Aww. Ow. Are you trying to he's trying to check your temperature? <laughs> Ow! He poked it in my ear. What's brother's temperature? Is he good? He said calculating. Is he sick? Or is he okay? Oh, I'm so sick, you oh. Oof. He's okay? Okay, good. Can you, Kaden, can you clean up um, your books over there? And Sissy's baby book, can you put it back up there, please? Can you clean up? Oh, what's oh, Molly barking? Watching you walk my way I could just stop and stare for days All of my dreams come true Every day that I'm with you I can't
So the pasta was added. I just used this like city pasta right here and um, I added it to the chicken. I did shred the chicken a bit more than I wanted to. I think it'll still be good nonetheless. Waiting for the pasta to go ahead and um, finish cooking in there. It'll take about 45 minutes and then it's done. It's super simple, easy dinner and um, really little effort and my family loves it. And I do need to make the bacon actually. So I'm gonna stick that in the broiler in just a minute, but I thought it'd be good to have a little snack. I am loving this like purely Elizabeth vanilla chocolate chip granola. I just get this at Walmart and actually Target sells it too. Um, it's organic and I love the like um, ingredients here. They are organic and just natural. Let's see if that will focus. But yeah, I love the ingredients here and it's really good. It is a little expensive. It's pricey. It's about five to six fifty, I think for this bag. It's only 10 ounces, but I have a little at a time um, as just like a little small snack. And I also um, use my goat milk when I eat this. I love goat milk and it's um, worked wonders on my digestive system. And so yeah, I'm gonna have a little snack right now while I'm waiting for dinner. The chocolate in this granola is really good. Um, it's got good flavor, it's not too sweet. Um, but, and it's also got a really good crunch in the granola. It's, um, it's just really delicious. If you like granola, I highly suggest and recommend you try this. So while dinner is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the kitchen. It's a mess. Um, there's clutter, like tons of clutter everywhere. Um, I can show you in a bit, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and um, hopefully I'll be able to clean this up before my son wakes up. Tonight we could do this right We'll find the remedy 
Yay, I'm so happy I got this taken care of. Um, it only took me a couple minutes. I was able to get that on um, and it's actually pretty straight, so that's good, but it's perfect for our keys. Um, I did wake up my daughter with the drill doing that, but um, she's probably gonna wake up any moment now anyway. Um, and then I did declutter the kitchen a bit. I was gonna wash some dishes, but I'll probably leave those for after dinner. <laughs> Okay, so I'm trying to find the middle here. I'm gonna have to put my daughter in the wrap because I need to finish up um, dinner and I need to eat dinner. So this is pretty much the only way I'm going to be able to right now. She just ate, had a diaper change, but she's been awake. Um, we tried doing some tummy time, but now I'm gonna have to wrap her so I can go eat dinner and feed everyone else. Put this over your feet, and here you are, nice and snug. Let's go get dinner. Okay, hi, there we are. There we are. Okay. I don't care, cause right now I feel the love that we said we would burn. Oh, I know that you feel it too. Just gonna have a salad with my on the side of my dinner but um i also wanted to show you i made like my own homemade salad dressing um i try to make my own just to keep away from the preservatives as much as possible and like other added ingredients and sugar but i made this um kind of like my own recipe i guess uh that i kind of stumbled upon and i really really like it uh, i really like the flavoring of it it's like mayo um a tiny bit of olive oil salt celery salt and dill and um, lemon also. And I just kind of put that all together and shake it up. I like a lot of dill, so um, yeah, I don't know. And I think I did put a little bit of honey in this one also. Um, but yeah, I like the combination of the like mayo and lemon together. So I'm gonna go ahead and have that with on the side of my dinner with um, just some spring milk. So there is dinner. Hmm. So I've got this pile of laundry right here. This is all dirty. And then some of it is also from um, the clothes that I was sorting earlier that I need to wash from like the thrift stores and stuff. And then um, right here is a basket of clean. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here, but I'm gonna try to clean up this mess. I have um, some dirty clothes on the floor and I'm gonna try to fold um, my baby's laundry before um, we go to bed and I'm gonna try to vacuum my room um, also. So I'm gonna do that right now and I'm just gonna go ahead and end this vlog. And thank you for spending the day with me. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. That's right now. Are you ready for sleeping? Are you ready for sleeping? You want to go get a book? You go get a book and then we'll read, okay? And go get your book and then we're going to read. She's going to throw it diaper away. Hurry up. You want to throw your diaper away? Okay. Let's throw your diaper away. Here you go.